Peterson, I'm the director of the Cowboy Arts and Gear Museum, 542 Commercial Street in historic downtown Elkhorn. And come the last week in January, we will be hosting our fourth annual bit making contest. The bits this year are out of Gias Garcia's 1924 catalog, and it is bit number 33. So, each of these makers bought, oh, last summer, early this fall, a cheek piece, two cheek pieces. This was, this is the raw cheek piece. Each one of these started out as, and then they've evolved into masterful art pieces. This one is, was the winner last year. His name's John Peters. He's from California and it's pretty fancy. This one here, bit number two, is Jeremiah Watt and his daughter, Nevada Miller. So they live hundreds of miles apart. One's in Oregon, the other's in California. This is Nevada's side. And this is Jeremiah's side, your dad. All of these bits... They've all been received. Well, we're still waiting on two, but I'm showing you what we've got. Will be judged prior to the last week in January. There's four components of the judging criteria. We have three separate judges who come in individually and do it, not collectively. And two of, two of the components, weight and balance and all of that stuff. I don't ride Western, so I can't go into specifics are judged on functionality. And these bits have to be as fancy as they, are, as they are, totally functional. But the other two components of this judging are on creativity and artistry. These are, I swear, over the top. They're just wonderful. They all had to incorporate, as in Garcia's catalog, and oh, where'd I put it? This part is a shield. So they had to incorporate the shield. Dennis Dominguez has very aptly done it right here. We have a Celtic knot of Connor Garwood's. This is just a more symbolic one. Chris Cheney, who's from Rexburg, Idaho, incorporated different metal colors on his. And this one is from Canada, but it's also very coolly done. Forrest Fretwell is our oldest competitor. He's almost 81 years old. And this one's got a great design to it as well, Chip Merchant. Stephen Hoyt comes from far away in Missouri. Barrett Freeman comes from far away of Spring Creek, Nevada. Curtis Hill is from Texas, and it has a half dollar embedded in the mouthpiece. Showboat, who's on the Wyoming license plate, is featured in this one. Justin Masters from Wyoming. And we also have Jim Dunlop from Williams, California, has the Golden Bear. And we have this one, Butch Clellan from Twin Falls, and Brian Brown. So these will be on display. We encourage you to invite your friends, relatives, and everybody else to come in and see these wonderful bits for yourself.